So this morning I had that interview with MEI and um, the email just came late yesterday at 3.56 p.m. but I didn't check my email until um, like after 9 p.m. at night yesterday which was June the 29th. Today's June 30th. This is just a marvelous three fest that it's all happened today. Um, so I agreed to meet them this morning at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m at MEI Middle School for an interview for a teaching assistant position and um, it was amazing and I got a word from the Holy Ghost after the interview teaching assistant divides by three and TA divides by three and then also teaching associate divides by three or if you say teacher's assistant that divides by three or teacher's associate that divides by three I got these words from the Holy Ghost after the interview and it was an amazing interview. Um, I met with Heather, the principal of the school, okay, and um, the vice principal Jeff. And this is amazing. We we mentioned this yesterday, before the interview even happened. I was commenting on how my first name is together with Heather, to make ninety perfectly. And God has ordained people in my life um, whose name equals forty-seven. And my first name equals 43, and together those two puzzle pieces make 90, which is king for three. The word he, uh, for king in Hebrew is 90. So Derek equals 43, plus Heather, who is the principal of MEI, equals 47. Put those two together, it makes 90. And then Jeff divides by three all by himself. And Jeffrey, uh, in full, divides by three all by himself. So the three of us sitting in the room, in the interview room, and, and the number... God is just calling to mind right now. The number of the interview room, Heather's office, is 102. 102. That's the first three-digit number, three-digit all-factor eight number, to the glory of Jesus equals eight eight, that divides by three perfectly, to the glory of the Trinity. That's the room number that we were meeting in. And it was the three of us. Heather, the principal of MEI, Jeff, the vice principal of MEI, and Derek, the candidate, for a teaching assistant position at MEI starting in September, the ninth month of this three-stamped year, which is the 33rd year of my life. Um, and uh, remember, God led me to make this piece of artwork with $33, which I received from a friend whose name is Scott, and Derek plus Scott divided by three. That was for my 33rd, birth, 33rd birthday, so it's just amazing. Um, but uh, we talked about that before I even uh, went to the interview, and furthermore, the interview was set up by the secretary, whose name is Rachel, and uh, Derek plus Rachel divides by three. In fact, wait a second, it was Derek plus Rachel, Rachel is 47. Derek plus Rachel um, is 43 plus 47 equals 90, so Heather is something different. Let's just, um, what was, what is Heather again? Heather was 33 plus... 9, uh, 42, 65. Oh, yeah. So let me read. So Derek plus Heather was 108, which equals worship, love plus love. And then Jeff adds another, if you just say Jeff, which is what is written on his, um, his uh, office door. And you can add the word doctor in front because Heather has her doctorate and Jeff is referred to as Mr. Doctor and Mr. and Mrs. all divided by three. Uh, but Jeff is um, 12 plus uh, 15 is 27, which is half a love exactly. That's amazing. So Derek plus Heather plus Jeff sitting in the same room adds brilliantly to love plus love plus half a love, 135, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times the third prime. And then if you add the REY to say Jeffrey, that's another bonus because that adds 48 points to the party. Um, now Jeffrey becomes uh, 75, and the grand total then becomes, oh my goodness, 183, which equals Christ the Redeemer, the most famous statue of Jesus, arguably, in world history in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, beneath which we are going to see Usain Bolt perform the ultimate three-peat in the history of the Olympics for the glory of the Trinity. And every word of Rio de Janeiro divides by three, starting with Rio, which has every letter of the three letters dividing by three. And the, that statue was designed by Hydra de Silva Costa, whose full birth name is Mr. 201. Shh, just like, okay. So, um, Derek plus Heather plus Jeffrey. Talk about a Trinity glorifying experience. 
three chairs. Uh, even in my memory, there were exactly three chairs in that room around the table. <laughs> Heather right there. Jeffrey right there. Derek right here. A literal equilateral triangle of three eternal souls to the glory of the Trinity, whose first names by divine ordinance add perfectly to 183, which equals Christ the Redeemer, and in Portuguese, Cristo Redentor equals the exact same number. <sighs> Holy Ghost. <laughs> God's sovereignty. Amazing. Um, and it was basically the best interview I've ever had in my entire life. I was just so Twilight Zone experience afterwards. I was just, you know, walking around in the gorgeous uh, Abbotsford sunshine and taking a little bit of an exploring fest afterwards, because the whole thing just felt so divine. Um, and uh, what other gems did I get while I was there? Sh I showed up massively early. I believe in showing up very early to all appointments. Structure your life so that you can show up a half an hour early to every single appointment that you have. Um, especially for meeting someone new. And... Um, Let's see, uh, while I was walking around MEI, they have tennis courts at 5 by 3 I got another gem. Uh, regulations, rules and regulations. Just, just as I was looking at the tennis courts and on the, the sign before you walk into the tennis court area. Tennis court regulations, MEI tennis court regulations. Well, rules divides by three, I've known that one for a while, but regulations divides by three as well. We need rules and regulations, otherwise we wouldn't have happiness. We wouldn't have happiness in sport if there weren't regulations. Um, and so we can't have happiness in culture if we don't have regulations. Um, that was a cool one. But uh, MEI, Home with the Eagles, uh, it's just awesome. Jay and I were, uh, my brother Jason and I, Derek plus Jason divides by three, um, and we were on the basketball court. I came back home and I went for a walk and lo and behold he was out there shooting hoops on the basketball court at Rutley Park. Basketball court equals love plus love plus love. Rutley Park across the street from me is love plus love plus love. We were out there in the gorgeous sunshine. I share with him how the interview went. He's just so stoked. He's like, that is amazing. He says, MEI is the best school in the province for sports, for Christian heritage, for history, for... Um, and uh, he said if he was to pick a high school that he could work at, it would probably be MEI, would be his number one pick. Um, but their mascot is the Eagles, home of the Eagles. Um, and amazingly, that uh, was the scripture that I quoted in my high school grad um, comments. I graduated from Walnut Grove Secondary School was that verse, they that wait on Jehovah shall renew their strength, they shall mount upon wings like eagles, they shall run and not grow weary, they shall walk and not faint. That's one of my favorite verses because I love endurance, I love performance, I love physical um, prowess and um, endurance and running. And uh, so MEI, their mascot is the Eagles, home of the Eagles. That's, that would be my pick for a school mascot. Um, and Eagle divides by three, of course. Eagle is um, uh, 30, exactly. <laughs> it's like talk about an obvious three. Um, I, I like getting everything on the board, it doesn't take us long. Eagle. You know, EA6, GE12, L12, that's 24, triple eight in the back, plus six, that's 30, Eagle equals 30. And then when you say home of the Eagles, that all divides by three, because the E on the end of home, the root of home divides by three, so that homes, homed, and homing all divide by three. And it's together with the S for the pluralization of Eagles. So home of the Eagles divides by three. So all together, MEI, home of the Eagles, divides by three. And that's very special to me because sport is very dear to my heart. Sport is very, very sacred. And um, Mennonite Educational Institute, home of the Eagles, that whole thing divides by three. And um, it is located on Clearbrook Road, which divides by three. <laughs> um, but that is very significant to me because sport is huge in school. It's huge in life. It's very sacred. It's the glory of God. and I just love sports like crazy. One of the first questions I asked him in the interview is, what are the possibilities for sports 
be in this position, and they just immediately, oh, like everything you could want. <laughs> you can help out with every sport there is, and it's high quality. Um, so, um, so, teaching assistant adds to 186 divided by 3. Teaching associate adds to 30 points less divided by 3. TA, we just call it the TA. <laughs> TA teaching assistants. Well, that's all. That's 20 plus 1 is 21, a sevenfold set of threes. It's king for 3. The number of strokes to carve that is 5, which is the third prime. And then a teacher's assistant equals 198 divides by 3. A teacher's associate would be 30 points less, uh, 168 perfectly, which equals God as sovereign, a sevenfold set of triple A's. Um, and this was a word that I got from the Holy Ghost after the interview. Teaching assistant. Divides by three perfectly. And that's what this position was uh, an interview for. Um, so, just uh, amazing. As an added fun bonus, I haven't worn this German made t shirt, this homemade t shirt, uh, in a long time. But the reason I chose it for the interview is because I needed a white, uh, I wore a black collar shirt with black dress pants and nice black Calvin Klein shoes and black socks for the interview. Um, but the reason I chose this shirt is because I, I wanted a white undershirt that doesn't have a V-neck. That's just, you know, their, their classic crew neck round collar. You know, it's the most respectful, modest for any interview. Um, but this is a homemade t-shirt and German made divides by three. And uh, of course Mennonite Educational Institute, um, a lot of Mennonite heritage is German, which is of course, my immediate heritage. We all come from Adam and Eve. <laughs> so where are you from? What's your heritage? Well, Garden of Eden. How about you? <laughs> oh, brother, sister, you too. Um, <laughs> you know, you can, you can always tell how deep a person is by how far back they go when they tell you where they're from. <laughs> so where are you from? Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve. How about you? Oh, you too, brother, sister. Well, oh God. Anyways, uh, but uh, I just find it very divine. I know that everything happens by divine ordinance down to the detail. Um, I had not worn this shirt for a long time. I was simply digging through my old shirts to, hope to, to try and find like a white crew shirt. And lo and behold, I found this German made. Uh, this is homemade, folks. This is like an iron-on t-shirt transfer. German made, do the math yourself, divides by three, bookended in 12. Uh, it's actually... Triply, it was actually doub doubly bookended, and uh, I didn't even know it at the time. I wasn't getting numbers revelations at the time when I made this shirt, but it's chain linked with threes, bookended with threes, and the whole thing divides by three, German made. And of course, anything that is German made is very high quality. <laughs> Cars, <laughs> being the most obvious one that comes to mind. Um, but just by divine ordinance, I was wearing this t shirt. You know, it's kind of like the old Superman concept you know, without saying anything to toot the whistle or anything. It's like, this is the shirt underneath, you know, the, uh, the black collar disguise. <laughs> no, 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 just, you know, plain. Um, but, um, German made, divides by three, beautifully, chain link, book ends with threes. Um, I, I insist, I'm a teacher's teacher, I, I love to go in the details while we're here. Um, so look at German made. Look at German made. It's chain linked with 27, half a love. Bookended with GE 12. Then it's doubly bookended because the E and the D make 9. So you got 21 plus 27, that's 48. Plus that's 66 plus 15. Wow, German made equals 81. Wow. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this was the t-shirt that I was wearing for this divine Three Fest interview today. And today is June 30th. You've got to be kidding me. The 30th day of the sixth month of the year? That is king for three. It's like more or less the exact halfway point as far as the calendar is concerned. Not really because the 15th technically. I'd have to think about that one for a little bit. But the 30th, three, <laughs> it's the last day of June. Tomorrow, as another bonus, is Canada Day, July 1st. 
Well, Canada is 24 AAA, day equals 30, Canada day equals love perfectly. That's tomorrow. Today is the 30th day of the sixth month. Talk about King for the number three. This is divine. And, and at 8 a.m., we solved the, the video before this interview last night. It's, on, uh, it's being uploaded as I speak. In fact, it's, um, uh, let's see how far it is. It's 31% done. MEI solved. I, I'm not going to, that's the beauty of pulling off the video camera here. You can see it's uploading right now. MEI solved. There's the ID tag 1085. Uh, MEI solved. It's 32% done uploading. Divides by three. And um, yeah. But that, that video was shot uh, before um, the interview last night when we were solving gems from the history of MEI and the interview itself and the people involved. The 8 o'clock is a divine time, and 8 a.m. also, and 8 p.m. Um, <laughs> but, by divine orders, in that exact moment, I was wearing famous homemade, German-made t-shirt. German-made is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And uh, so find love in that. It's love plus half a love. Well, there's your half a love in the center. And then... Um, yeah, it's easy. And then R and DE is another half of love, and then the rest equals the, the final 27. So 27 plus 27 plus 27 in the divine phrase, German made. Now, folks, I made this t-shirt years ago. I was not receiving any numbers revelations at that time in my life. I made this t-shirt because, um, uh, honestly, um, I was wanting to bulk up <laughs> physically. <laughs> And uh, believe in you know discipline and physical exercise and activity, and just wanted to make a fun uh, shirt uh, as part of you know my German heritage. And I believe that Germans are pretty good at discipline and all that stuff. So I just made this fun T-shirt to wear to the gym, German made. And um, lo and behold, here we are solving it at this divine moment for the three fests. And um, of course, the German flag has three stripes: one, two, three. Um, and uh, Red is the center stripe. We solve that. Um, black is plus two, yellow is plus two. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Um, other cool things about MEI. The, um, it's just a awesome. You see the sign on the front of the campus. MEI. Okay. The nine strokes to carve their logo. Nine bands of blue to, to write to MEI. Me and I are God's favorite words to start and end every sentence with, because it's all about God. And when God talks to you in English, he'll very often start with the word I. And he'll very often end with the word me, because it's all about him. God is full of himself because he has to be. There's none higher. So, M-E-I, you got to be kidding me. Me and I side by side. Me is 18, double nine. I is nine. That's 27. Have a love perfectly. Like composed of God's two favorite words, me and I. Just like, boom. Um, and the number of strokes divided by three, and M is carved in four strokes. One, two, three, four. And E is carved in four strokes. One, two, three, four. And I is carved in a single stroke. Shoom! So that's nine strokes in total, three times three to the glory of the Trinity, in three letters using God's favorite words, me and I. Wow! Do you want to come to MEI in... Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada, the one and only, see it for the glory of God. People are going to come flocking from all over the world to MEI to see the glory of God, do treasure hunting, find gems themselves, be like, this is the place, this is the place that God hath ordained MEI in Abbotsford. Come one and all. We need to see the volleyball team, we need to donate to this campus, we need to get the principal through the roof, we need to get money to these people, we need to just like, boom, this place is just going to explode with like children and like campuses and like money and all sorts of like gold provision and all this silver like basketball courts and like, anyways. Um, the place was founded in uh, 1944, which divides by three that number, to the glory of the trying God, by divine ordinance. Um, and uh, so you see the big sign in stone, boom, on the front of the corner of the campus, M-E-I, and then Mennonite Educational Institute in three words twice by three. Bam! And my brothers and I were just talking about the institute the other day and just how it's one of our favorite funny words. We just say the word institute and typically we laugh. 
uh, Jason, my brother, <laughs> was talking about the Shapinsky Institute. And I was just like, that is hilarious. Um, and, uh, yeah, the Shapinsky Institute. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, just MEI is awesome. Uh, J Jason told me uh, um, a bunch of awesome things about their volleyball program. It's been around, uh, uh, it's basically one of the best men's high school volleyball programs. And volleyball is my number one. Very cool. Uh, the, the vice principal, Jeffrey, his favorite sport is volleyball. And uh, that's my number one as well. So that was an immediate connection there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazingly, um, he was talking with my old high school teacher, Gary Lou. It's just amazing, the sovereignty of God, how it all is foreordained and just, yep, yeah, here it is. Um, uh, Gary Luce, who was my high school volleyball coach and um, also track and field, uh, was talking to Jeff, the vice principal, before the interview. Apparently, somehow, they were talking with each other and were talking about me because obviously my resume was sent in. Um, and Gary Lutz obviously put in a good word for me, and um, uh, that could be a big part of this story playing out and them just welcoming me in and a good word, a good name, you know, is better to be chosen than gold and silver, the Bible says. Um, but it's just remarkable, like, my brothers and I, just in a bout of, you know, great conversation and we were just reminiscing on things and uh, we were just talking about Gary Loops like a couple days ago, just talking about memories and stuff and then lo and behold, I come into this interview in the morning, June 30th on the 6th, and the first thing Jeff says to me is, when he's walking in is, I was talking to Gary Lutz about you, <laughs> you know, doing the old background check. Anyways, it was just really, really funny. Um, cool. So, um, divine things happened at MEI this morning. <laughs> divine things. <laughs> um, but that, that was obvious. Teaching assistant, teaching associate, TA, teacher's assistant. These, these are words from the Holy Ghost I got after. Rules, regulations, you can dig into those and find love and all of them. Um, man. I'm just so excited about it. It's like, it's going to be an awesome, awesome place to be. Praise God. And I immediately volunteered to, uh, to help out with the volleyball team and all that stuff. Um, cool. So you can find love in a teaching assistant. Um, you can find three loves plus a bonus 24. Uh, I can do it pretty quickly, I'm sure. Um, there's love number one. <laughs> and... Uh, STT 40 plus 14. And I can just go like this. There's love number two. And then you'd have to knock off 24 points for the rest. Well, I just knock off these guys. And so love number three would be um, what's left over here IST 39, 18 plus something like that. Um, cool. But the coolest part to me is the first names and the number of the room that we were meeting in. 102. <laughs> room 102, Derek, Heather, and Jeffrey. Adds to love plus love plus half a love. So like knit together Derek plus Heather. 12 there. R, R, famous word dots. Like K goes with the A, the three E's together. Jeffrey. Amazing. Amazing. And of course, big difference when you go to a Christian um, high school. Just Bible verses everywhere the moment you walk in. Very cool. Okay, I'm probably going to share a few more things on this, but I uh, just want to start getting it out. Glory to God. <laughs>